If you're watching this video, it means that you are probably interested in Polish and maybe you'd like to learn it. My name is Sara and I'm going to try and convince you that this is absolutely possible. Let me start with reading. Maybe for some reason you are convinced that reading in Polish is quite difficult. Well, believe me, it is not so if you know how to get onto it. Yes, there are some specific Polish characters that you need to learn, but the good news is that they are always read the same way, in every word. So when you master them, you will be able to read any Polish text yourself. Even if you don't understand the meaning of the words you're reading, for example, names of cities. So let's get started. The Polish alphabet is based on Latin script and consists of 32 letters. You can see them all here. First, I will read the letters in alphabetical order. Then we will read them in the way that they are pronounced in sample words. I encourage you to repeat them after me. A On B C C D E L F G H I J K L U M N N O U P Q R S S T U V V X Y Z Z Z Now let's have a look at how the letters are pronounced in words. Please note that the word stress in Polish is fixed on the second to last syllable. So we read ananas, banan, aleja, gratulacje. There are a few exceptions to this rule, but many native speakers don't follow them, so I don't think you have to worry about them right now. I hope you can agree with me that this rule makes reading in Polish much easier. Now listen and repeat after me. A. Ananas. Aleja. Alina. B. Banan. Grab. Bogdan. Before a voiceless consonant and at the end of a word we say szybko. Grubszy. C. Cytryna. Koc. Celina. Try to remember that Polish C is never read as K in English cat or S as in cell or Ch as in cello. D. Dom. Pod. Dobry. Before a voiceless consonant, we say prędko, ponadto, e, elf, dwie, egzamin. This is a bit hard for English speakers who read this letter as e, so remember it's e, elf, dwie, egzamin, f, fabryka. Kilof, Filip, G, Garnek, Targ, Gramatyka. Polish G is never G. H, Hulajnoga, Hrabia, Hamak, I, Iris, Mi. Bivak. Don't read it as English I. Y. Jajko. Daj. Janek. Always Y. Never J. K. Krowa. Hak. Skakanka. L. Lampa. Drwal. Lustro. W. Łąka. 
meow palat. As you can see, this letter sounds like English W. M. Mama. Tam. Mrok. N. Noc. Tom. Nigdy. O. Ogród. Twardo. Kot. It's a short open sound. O. Not o. P. Pociąg. Stop. Poprawny. R. Rover. Baran. Raritas. When you say r, the tip of your tongue should vibrate. S. Słony. Kos. Sasanka. Tata, płot, traktor, u, ulica, komu, drukuj. It's never u or a, always u. W, widok, w mieście, rów. So this one is different than English W. It functions like English v, vet, very. Next to a voiceless consonant, we say wczoraj, w Krakowie, kwiat, i, buty, gdyby, rybak. There are no Polish words starting with i, although we use yeti, but this is actually a borrowed name. Z. Zamek. Zaraz. Before a voiceless consonant, we say z tobą, z Karoliną, syłać. Nine of the Polish letters have diacritics, additional marks such as dots and others. Ż. Żaba. Garaż. Żałować. Before a voiceless consonant, we say ciężki. Ważka. Nasal sounds. On. Kąt. Ząb. Tną. E. Ciężki. Biegnę. Gęsty. Soft sounds. Ć. Ćma. Spać. Grać. Nie. Koń. Dłoń. Słońce. Ś. Śpi. Łoś. Młodość. Ź. Źrebie. Maź. Późno. Letter E used after letters C, S, and Z, change the pronunciation and makes them sound soft. Chi, shi, ni, zi. Chi. Ciemno. Cicho. Dzieci. Ni. Nie. Nigdy. Oni. Nic. Si. Się. Silny. Nasi. Zi. Zielony. Zimno. Więzi. In the Polish spelling, seven diagraphs are used. Ch. Chomik. Dach. Cicho. Pronounced the same way as Cztery. Dlaczego? Czyja? Before a voiceless consonant, we say liczba. Dz. Dzwonek. Bardzo. Widzę. Dź. Dźwig. 
usiąść, dziób, dż, dżem, dżdżownica, dżungla, ż, rzeka, morze, lekarz, pronounced in the same way as ż. Next to a voiceless consonant and at the end of the word we say przyjaciel, krzyk, malarz, sz, szal, szybko, miłosz. There is also one triograph, dzi, dzień, dziwny, widzi.